Hello everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher. Um, there we go, now you can see the top of my head. Um, it is uh, Sunday, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Um, here we are with our weekly video. A uh, reminder, there will not be a video next week, most likely, um, because I'm going to be out of town, and I don't know how much stitching I'm going to get done, and so I just, there may not be a video. Don't be surprised if there's not. Um, so, there we go. Um, alright, so I don't have any coffee this morning, because we're actually about to go to the movies. Um... So I'll get a soda or something when I go to the movies. So we're just going to do the Q&A. We've got some haul and new starts. Um, yeah. So um, we'll ho hop on in. Sorry, they're emptying the garbage, it sounds like. So the clanking is that. Um, let's see. Um, Sarah Greener, um, I apologize for getting it incorrect. I guess I went more French, um, than, than I should have. Um, so I, I do apologize, but I'm glad you're not too upset. Um, and yes, Longfellow's Round Tower is fabulous. Um... Let's see. Um, Joanne P. asks, who is the designer for uh, Scream House? And it's just Nan. Um, and um, she says, she doesn't quite see me as a just Nan stitcher. I actually... I think I would probably like the Just Nan band samplers more, but the three-dimensional things, I've not been quite so... Th I, I... I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably eventually go back to it. That's that's my plan, at least. Um, Beaker Sanute asks, Have I ever thought about teaching a cross-stitch class? Um, I have, but there's never been really an opportunity for it. Um... And I'm not really sure what I would do to teach in a class, because there's just not that much that's... That, I mean, it's... Even if you do something really small, doing a quick finish on it still takes a pretty decent amount of time. But if anyone ever wanted to learn, I, I'm, I'm more than happy to teach, I guess I should say. Um... Darla Beckerson asks, is the Oz stitch piece still in my mother's guest room? No, it is actually in my in our living room um, next to the TV. So in the living room I've got my first two finishes were that and the Brooks Books individual Dorothy. So I have those in the living room. So she does still have, I did the little stitcher, the Dorothy's Red Shoes, um, that says just there's no place like home and it's got the ruby slippers. That is still at her house. Um, she has a little spot in one hallway where she put that and some stuff that I made her through the years, and that's kind of, for lack of a better term, the Garrett Shrine. Um. Alright, Lori Scicleone asks, Imagine you're stitching and put in, say, 30 to 40 stitches and are now burying your thread. You turn it around and there's a knot after the fifth stitch or so. Do you go back and fix it, or just ignore it? The answer, I just ignore it. Um, what I will sometimes try to do if it's a big knot is I'll try to secure the threads that lead into the knot with other threads and then cut the knot off. Um, but otherwise, no, I just leave it. Um, Sunflower says that he can't tell, or she can't tell what I'm wearing, but it's epic. That is a caftan. Today I'm wearing a cardigan. Um... Right. So I think that's all the Q&A. Um, so let me show the little bit of haul from this week. Um, I got my Ship's Banner November Fabric of the Month, and it came with a little bonus surprise. That was very lovely. So here's the fabric. This one I think is the prim, but I don't remember. 
but it's a nice, lovely blue. Um, yes. So, it's a very lovely, lovely blue. Um, and it came with um, the Christmas time chart from Ship's Manor. Um, and I'll show it kind of back here at a distance. But it's got Christmas words and snowflakes and a tree and a house. And it included um, the thread pack for it. So it did not include the button. Um, so I need to find out where I get the button from. But it came with the Jolly Old Elf, Orange Grove, Yuletide, Treasure, um, Calypso threads, which are also in the Ship's Manor Christmas Town style. So there's that. So and this I'm going to use for my backing for a second. Alright. So yesterday I was at Stitch Niche planning not to spend money. And I spent money. But this came in, and because I've fallen in love with Ship's, uh, Shepherd's Bush, um, Kim was sitting there unboxing stuff uh, that had come in, and she goes, Hey, does anyone want to see this year's um, Shepherd's Bush stocking? Here it is if you want to see it. It's Richard's stocking. There it is. Kate did a terrible job of preventing me from buying stuff. So I bought that, which of course meant that I needed to buy the embellishment pack. Which of course also then meant that I needed the fabric, which is 18 count linen, which I've never used before, so that's going to be interesting. Which also meant that I needed the threads. Um, they actually had um, all but one of the week's pearl cottons, and it's used in such a small section that I went with the DMC conversion on it, um, because I really don't think it's going to make much difference. So here are the pearl cottons. Because I decided that now Jean and I need handmade stockings. So here we go. We've got Ecru 822, 3048, 3012, and 839. And the 822 replaced River Rock in the Weeks Dye Works. And in the Weeks Dye Works, we've got I'll do the three reds all together. Um Baked apple, brick, and crimson, and then this is also whiskey. And then we've also got onyx, oscar, guacamole, light khaki, and mocha. So there they are. So... I will probably start this this afternoon when we get back from the movie. We're going to go see Wonder. So. And I will probably want something, because I'm sure I'm going to cry through most of that movie. So, and then I bought some needles, because I didn't have any that I thought a pearl would be able to go through. So, there we go. So we'll be starting that this afternoon. All right, so this week, that was the haul. So this week I worked on a whole bunch of stuff. So I did not get the border quite finished yet in Longfellow's Round Tower. So it will continue this week. But there I am. So I got the bulk of it done. I just have a little bit left. So I should finish it in very, very little time. Um, it will not be going with me to... Um, San Antonio. I say that, it may. Who knows? This is what we're talking about. 
photo. Um, but I'll definitely have the border finished by um, the end of the month. So, um, and as we know, we sort of discussed, I've had some trouble, oh, well, you know, I'll show my the other thing. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble just with what, I, I've had so many really big projects that I think I felt like I wasn't really getting much of anywhere. So, I started some stuff that's smaller. Um, so I did work on, um, The Ship's Manor, so there's that. Um, boop. And that's going to become, after I finish Brown Tower, I think this is going to become my 50 stitch a day project. Even if it's not November, I think I'm going to try and stick to that, where I do 50 stitches on a project a day. Um, so, yeah, um, so I did a whole lot of, well, first, after I did that, I worked on Gypsy Hearts by Shepherd's Bush, and I finished the second heart, Dude. so there that is. And I do love this design. It's so 90s and so pretty. Um, oh, 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 while I'm thinking about it, um, Tina Louise Stitches asked um, who the lady I was with yesterday at Stitch Niche. Um, that was uh, Kate, who is the queen of starts on Floss Tube. So I meant to, meant to say that earlier. And then, uh, so I worked on Gypsy Hearts, and I think this one's actually going to go with me to San Antonio. Um, and then I started a couple other new things. So I started, um, I went through my magazines, and I decided to start my first band sampler. So this one comes from the October 97 Cross Stitch and Needlework. Um, it's designed by Linda Reeves. So that's the design. And I got the first three bands done. It was originally done in, uh, it calls for flower thread, which doesn't apparently exist anymore. So I'm using just regular DMC. Um, I actually had the called for, um, wildflowers. I did not have the called for water lily, which is the grapes, but it was only in the grapes. So I used a dinky dyes because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to try and buy a full skein of water lilies for less than 100 stitches. So there it is. Um, so I'm doing it on 28 count Chai Tea Lugana, or no, Lugana, Joblin from Witchold. So. And I'm having a blast. I really, really like this. Um, I've never done a band sampler before, but this definitely won't be my last. Itchy face. Um, all right, so then I also, I was going to start the pen, Frosted Pumpkin Pen Pal New Year's Eve yesterday, but when I got to Stitch Niche, I discovered I had no idea what I had picked my colors for, so I'll start that at some point here in the near future. Oh, I also worked on Woodland Fairy, and I got a fair amount done, um, but I realized one of my color choices was off, and I meant to take this yesterday to Stitch Niche to try and figure out a little bit better color choice, um, and I forgot it. But that's where I'm at honor. So, but that light pink I think is too light, so I think it would work better. I think I need a color in between it and the next color to it. So, but that's where I'm at on my Mira. Um, so I have the 30th off, so I'm definitely going to be going back to Stitch Niche on the 30th. Um, so I'll probably do that then. Okay. Um, and so then I also started this one. It was in the, um, this one's in the World of Cross Stitch. Uh, what number is this? Mm. 
Number 219. Do I have an actual date on this one? I don't. I really hate how they don't actually put the month on here. They just put the number. Um... Does it have a? It's got graduation and summer design, so I'm thinking this is probably a. Oh wait, here we go. No. Oh, no, this is the July. So it's uh, Susan Bates, and if she has more of these seasonal patchwork ones, I definitely want them. But I started Summer Patchwork. So I started in the middle. I'm doing this on a 28-count Yellow Brittany. Um, and here's where I got on it. Um... So I got the basket done. So I've got to do the back stitching on it still. Um, which I don't know why I took it off my Q-snap, but I did. So um, after I finish my back stitching is when I'll go to my stocking. So anyhow, um, that's kind of it for me for the week. Um, I will, I guess, see you all either next week or the week after. Have a happy, wonderful Thanksgiving to all of us in America, and a happy regular Thursday to everyone else in the world. And I will see you all later.